hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing a what is in my bag and what's in my pochette matisse i absolutely love this crossbody it's super comfortable i wasn't sure if i was going to like it when i bought it like i wanted it for so long but you know when you finally get something and you're like i don't even know if i like it anymore Anyways, I'll get further into details about that in a second, but I just wanted to say welcome back to my channel, and um, before we get started into today's video, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Um, I'm so close to a thousand subscribers, so that's my goal for this month, is hopefully to be at a thousand at the end of the month, beginning of February. Um, but yeah, so if you'd like to see what's in my Pochette Matisse, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so this is my bag. It's the Pochette Matisse and the Monogram Canvas. Um, I recently just got this as a late Christmas present. Um, the reason why is because I just kept holding off on it. Um, also, I like I did an also I did an unboxing on this. So if you want to see that, um, go check out my last video. I'll link it up here or in the description box so you guys could check out my unboxing on this bag. But yeah, basically it was a late Christmas present. I was just not really sure if I wanted, if I, like, if I, I was honestly just going to hold off on getting this bag because of just like, oh, I can't ever bring myself to spend like money, you know, like, so I'm just like on purses, like I love handbags, like I'll splurge on them, but it takes me a while to actually pull the trigger on it. So, um, yeah, I finally just decided to get it though because, um, I was just like, oh, wait till like February, like whatever. I was gonna, and then after I was like, I went onto their website because I was like stocking this bag because it was in stock for a long time. I was like, I bet you like when I go to like get it, it's gonna be out of stock or like, you know, so I just kept like checking all the time just to make sure and it was always in stock. And then I recently checked and then it was not in stock anymore. And I was like, okay. And then also it had an increase in it, a $150 increase. So I was like, yep, that sounds about right because the cosmetic pouch I bought two years ago, or no, last year, is now $543. So, and that was in one year. I oh, know, wait. Yeah, because it, hold on. Yeah, it, up, it went up last, so I bought it in 2018, the end of 2018, and went up in 20. No, I bought it at the end of 2019 and went up in 2020 and then again in 2021. So I bought it for $340 and now that cosmetic pouch is worth $547. So honestly, Louis Vuitton is worth it because it is um, an investment for sure. And this handbag is very popular. I've been wanting this for so, so, so long. Let's get into what is in this baddie. <laughs> so let me just give you a quick overview of what it looks like and stuff. So it has gold hardware on it and then the fachetta leather right there and right there and right there. And then it has a back pocket. And then to open it, you just close it like that. There we go. And it's all canvas with brown suede in it and then a s adjustable strap um yeah so let's see so this is pretty much what it looks like right now and this so there's a pocket right here and then right here and then another one so a total of three pockets two slots and then like an actual pocket um so yeah let me go ahead and show you what's in the front pocket real quick so i have my louis vuitton i believe it's the emily wallet um, I do have my card holder, but I can't find it, which I need to look for that today because it has my credit cards in it. But if you watch my never full, um, what's in my never full bag, you'll see that. Usually, typically, I carry that card holder with me everywhere. Um, so if you want to see what it looks like, I guess go check out my, what's in my never full bag. But, um, so this is a Louis Vuitton Emily wallet, um, and it has, it's in Rose Ballerina print, and it, this is what it looks like. And then I have some cash in here. I think it's like 11 bucks. And some cards. Okay. Then in that first pocket, I have my phone. I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And then it has like this like black cheetah print on it. It's all scratched up already. It's been bothering me so bad, but it's okay. So yeah. 
of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna upgrade my phone until the newer, newer one comes out. Cause I know they just came out with another one, but it looks exactly like my phone, and there's not really a difference. So, <laughs> um, okay. So that's all that's in that first pocket. Then back here is the biggest pocket. So I have a mask for my daughter Madison. It's just a JoJo Siwa mask. Um, my key holders. Uh, my six ring, yeah, six ring key holder. And then my car key is in my room, actually. And then, as you can see, it's starting to wear right there. Because I use this, like, so much. So, yeah, it's, like, starting to wear. And then I have my um, cosmetic pouch. So, this is the pouch I was telling you guys that is now worth $500. As you can see, it has not patina at all because I honestly don't use it that much. But I like love it and I know if I sell it, I'm going to want to repurchase it and I'd rather just save my time and not do that. But I am going to be using it in this bag to catch all my stuff, like oops, lip glosses and stuff. So I'll show you everything that's in there real quick. I have my Aquaphor. My Chanel Mirror. Um, my blotting sheets from Chanel, a Vaseline lip therapy ointment, um, some rose water and ivy hand sanitizer, um, a tie to go stick. I need this all the time, especially with the toddler. Some poopery. Um, my MAC concealer. What the hell? So my MAC concealer. Some eye drops. I do wear contacts occasionally, so I've got to carry those with me. Um, my MAC stripped down lip liner. I just carry stuff that I use mostly all the time. And then my Chanel lipstick. So it just like pops up like that. And then I like to carry, make sure I carry um, like the lipstick that I'm wearing that day with me. So today I'm wearing the Anastasia Beverly Hills stripped. And yeah, so I carry that in there too. And then I have my Chanel Chance perfume. Um, it's just the travel one. You just like twist it up like that. So yeah carry that with me because this is like really what I wear all the time and then I have a pen and because every time I need a pen I don't have one on me so I threw a pen in here and then I have my lens cleaning wipe um either for my camera or if I'm wearing my glasses I'll put that in there and then in this back pocket I don't really have anything and then I don't put anything in here because I heard that it stretches it out and makes it look all ugly. And I know if that's what it'll look like, it'll bother me forever. So nothing's in this back pocket. Um, that's just pretty much what's in here. Honestly, like, it's a lot of stuff with the makeup, makeup bag, but it doesn't feel heavy, which is really nice. Like, this bag is super lightweight. And I like that it drops down to, like, under my hip a little bit. Like, and I obviously you can adjust it, I can bring it up higher, um, but I like the way the, like that it's adjustable versus like my Gucci bag over there, it's not adjustable at all and it goes exactly to my hip and I'm 5'4", so that's kind of like annoying and it bothers me and I'm also glad that I chose this too because like the brown canvas won't rub off from my jeans or anything, so yeah, I love that, I love this crossbody bag, it's my baby, I'm used Honestly, like my never full bag, it took me like it's it's patining very very well right now. Like it looks like a honey color, um, and it took me. I've had that bag since 2018, 18, 19, 20. So like three years, I think since 2018 or 2019. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's it's 2018. I've had that bag, um, and it's taken me a long time to use it. 
That's why I took so long to patina because I was just like, it's so expensive. I don't want to use it. And I just brought myself to the realization I need to stop doing that. Like, if I'm going to spend the money on these bags, I need to get the use out of them. And I need to stop being afraid because it's pointless to buy them if I'm not going to use them. So, yeah, that's why I'm starting to use this a lot. And I love it. It doesn't get in my way. It's not annoying. And I just really love this bag. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, so make sure you guys go check out my unboxing. Make sure you guys go check out my unboxing on this bag. Um, sorry if I seem like a little blah in that video. I was just like very like tired. And then also I'll link down to my um, Louis Vuitton Never Full What's in That Bag. I'll link that down below so you guys could check that out as well. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.